Hey everybody, it's me Peppy from Peppy's Plants and I'm showing off a couple of my figs uh, that I've grown uh, from cuttings. Uh, it's actually quite easy, you can do it. Uh, this is uh, Alma Fig and uh, it's a terrific fig plant. This one's about, uh, oh, about a year old. It's doing terrific in the container and I'm gonna show you how to propagate your own fig plants from cuttings. It's actually pretty easy. Today I want to really show you something that uh, kind of explains in a backwards way, going from the ground up so to speak, how the roots develop on your cuttings from your figs. Now these are hardwood cuttings and these are about only two weeks old. And a lot of people ask me, you know, how do you get them started, uh, mine always die. Hey, you know, it happens. but. You, you, you got to have the right time of the year and for me here in Florida it seems like almost any time is the right time of the year except the rainy season when it's real rainy it's a little more challenging uh, but when we're doing this outdoors during the drier season right now it's uh, April uh, 27th uh, we're gonna show you how these were started and we're gonna sacrifice uh, probably two or three of these to show you uh, what is happening uh, with their development particularly in the roots and then by taking this backwards from the roots and you can look at what's happening you'll better understand how you can make this work for you okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna pull this guy out and don't do this because if you do this you'll you know this guy's probably not gonna be able to survive after this but you can see here from here down we have it's 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 okay I mean it's not rotten or anything like that but it's it's a little bit soft so sometimes this part will decay but then here, if you look carefully in the video here, you can see those roots are coming from those nodes. So what did we do? We cut this. This is about a, uh, a five and a half, six inch piece. And we cut it at a 45 degree angle right above that, that little node right here. And we put it in the ground with basically two nodes, one here and one here. We went down to that depth right where my thumb is. That's the depth. And you can see what happened. We started to develop roots, and this would have been fine if I hadn't pulled it out to show you. Now, I can scrape this with my nail. You can see the cambium underneath there. And you can see this is still green and healthy and growing. And when those roots start to develop, there's a good shot that we're going to get a little bud coming out from here, a little leaf bud. Sort of like we're going to put them back and say a prayer. Now, this next one over here, I'm going to pull them out too. Look at this. Right there, we have a leaf beginning to emerge, and we have roots, and we have a shoot coming from the bottom, from that node. So here we go again. I'm going to show you this one again. It's cut at a 45 degree angle. We have growth here, roots here, and a shoot coming. So you can see that that's, that's doing quite well. Now, probably is probably is not going to make it now because I'm going to put it back in the pot, but I, I, I figured this is a good way for you to see what's going on, and, and I'm going to leave that guy thing. alone. See, he has, a little, he has a little shoot coming out right there doing very nicely very small very skinny little piece but about the same length now this guy here you know what the heck I'm gonna just pull him out look at that you can see all of those roots and without roots you've got nothing so first come the roots and then later comes the new growth very important that you're aware of that okay so I never watered this at all just was a little bit moist and it's about two weeks growth I had it in the corner uh, where it was partially shaded, left it alone, forgot about it. Okay, it's April, April 29th, two weeks ago. So I started this in April 2016. And as you can see, uh, these are fairly easy to propagate. So you can see they propagate pretty as, pretty easily from these cuttings. And it's, uh, it's fun to do. Uh, you can grow your own figs. And um, here in Florida, that's how I do it. It works for me. Okay, folks, I hope you learned something. Appreciate you coming by. And if you really like it, give us a thumbs up and, uh, you know, why not subscribe to my channel? I really, really would like to grow so, my channel. Give and us have a your thumbs support. up if you like the video, and uh, we really appreciate you coming in. Thank you so much. Keep in touch and visit us at techiesplants.com.